Hunter Williams will demonstrate the extraordinary roll performance of the F-16 with four consecutive aileron rolls at low altitude. at its finest with the diamond bottom-up pass. Again from the right, our two solo pilots have teamed up this time to create a mirror image in their trademark Calypso Pass. From the left, it's the arrowhead formation with our two wingmen, Captain Ryan Riley and Major Caroline Jensen, dropping back to fly off our slot pilot in the arrowhead roll. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as the solo pilots come from behind and overhead to execute the brake testing crossover brake. The diamond is now approaching from the right. This is a rare opportunity to go inside the cockpit of Thunderbird 1 as Lieutenant Colonel Mosley calls for the four diamond pilots to perform simultaneous aileron rolls in close formation. again inbound for a high-speed head-on pass. As they cross, watch for them to climb sharply, then reverse course in a split S maneuver to cross again with a knife edge pass.
down to your left, you'll see the Thunderbirds once again in trail formation. Watch closely as they perform one of the most difficult maneuvers, the trail to diamond roll. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now. Supersonic speeds are critical in chasing down the enemy. Slow speed handling is just as important in aerial combat. Now look to your right and find Captain Jones. Low and slow. again demonstrates the tactical surprise of the F-16. From the right, 
right, count along with our opposing solo as he makes exact control inputs in the four point roll. with the Diamond 7th Battalion, 158th Aviation Regiment, was killed in action on August 6, 2011 when his helicopter crashed in Wardock Province, Afghanistan. He paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country and we fly today in honor of Alexander and all of those who have given their lives in defense of our freedom. Lieutenant Colonel Mosley repositions the Delta formation for the Delta roll. As you take time to watch the precision required to maneuver six F-16s as one formation, let that serve as a reminder of not just the teamwork, but also the dedication and commitment that makes our entire team and the United States Air Force the most capable and advanced force in the world. Delta soars above, we are proud to represent the nearly 40,000 airmen who are deployed around the world in defense of our freedom. While our airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines risk their lives every day to fight for democracy, it is the families that stay behind, keeping the fire burning, who are the silent heroes of our military. Their sacrifices do not go unrecognized, and we thank every parent, husband, wife, son, and daughter who support their deployed military member each day while they fight to keep our country free.
Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps no other maneuver is more closely associated with the Thunderbirds than the one about to see. Look in front as the Stinger formation approaches for the low bomb burst. Thunderbirds 5 and 6 rejoin the diamond and reposition for the delta pitch to land. We hope you found today's performance inspirational. It is the culmination of hundreds of hours of training and preparation, representing the unparalleled devotion to duty of every combat airman in your Air Force. We encourage those young people in the audience today to dream big, choose integrity, and serve their communities and families and surround themselves with excellence. And now, inbound from the left, the Thunderbirds dedicate this final pass to all the airmen that have gone before us and have paved the way for a brilliant future.
Thunderbird 5 is approaching from the left in inverted flight. Watch as Major Williams rolls 360 degrees back to inverted flight prior to pitching up to land. <laughs> From the left is Thunderbird 6. You'll see Captain Jones complete two aileron rolls before his pitch to land. We hope you've enjoyed today's flying demonstration as we celebrate the unwavering commitment and dedication of your United States Airmen. As the RF-16s come into land, we'd like to thank you for your continued support of the United States military. It has been our great honor to represent America's Airmen with our performance today. Once the jets have taxied back and our engines are shut down at show center, Thunderbird officers and enlisted representatives are planning on coming forward. We'd be glad to sign some autographs and talk about the great opportunities that exist in today's Air Force. This will take place along the crowd line at show center in front of our aircraft. We hope you'll stick around, give us the opportunity to meet you, sign some autographs, take some pictures, and let us answer any questions you might have about serving this great nation. The Thunderbird team is comprised of men and women like you, people with a love of country in search of opportunity. They were given the chance to succeed, and they did. And now I'd like to take some time to recognize some of the men and women who make it happen. It is my pleasure to introduce you to an important group that represents all of our Thunderbird enlisted professionals. In this...